Traders, hope you had a nice weekend. Today is Monday, the 4th of September, and we are going to look back at Friday's trades. We're going to look at today's potential trades, of which there are many, and we're going to look at the important news for today as well, guys. All right. So let's get started. Friday was all about Swiss franc weakness. Okay. And I actually traded this one, Aussie dollar, Swiss franc. So I thought we'd start here, guys. All right. And why were we looking to buy this? Well, if we look at the day chart here, price, yeah, broke this level with this candle. And therefore, we created an uptrend. Yeah, you can see we're getting higher lows, higher highs, yeah, higher lows. We are now in an uptrend. And we had a very bullish candle. And we was above the moving average 20. Yeah, there were lots of reasons to like this trade, guys. And the idea was to take it back up to here. Um, let's drop down to the H1 now, because that was actually my entry. So let's look at this, guys. So I entered on the H1 because we got this nice bullish candle. Okay, so as soon as I saw this bullish candle, entered here, put my stop below here, you know, and my first target was back to these highs, all right? And at these highs, guys, take some profit, yeah? Because this can happen. Price can come back on you, and then you're back, and you're thinking, oh, I wish I took profit. Take some profit. So at this level, you know how I roll by now. I close 80% of this trade. I'm still keen on buys for this pair. So if it comes back, you know, and we get another bullish reaction, I've still got 80% or even put in a new 100% of a trade and start to take it up again. All right, and I'll just keep moving my, you know, trail my stop. If price action does this, I'll just trail the remaining 20%. Okay, so Aussie dollar Swiss franc, guys, nice trade. We've made some profit. We're still in it for 20%. I put this trade in the VIP Discord channel, guys. So if you haven't joined it, join it. Um, and like I say, guys, it was all about Swiss franc. So if we look at Canadian dollar Swiss franc, this didn't give us as good a setup. Yeah, we got some bullish candles, but not bullish enough. Look at the wicks. Look at the wicks. Look at this candle. And we also knew that there was news coming out later on. And then look at that. Okay, then it becomes a little untradeable. Okay, so Canadian dollar Swiss franc didn't give us as good a setup. Um, and also, we were looking at pound Swiss franc as well, guys. So I'm just looking at the hourly charts because the daily chart is pretty much the same setup. This one, again, pound Swiss franc, we did get this bullish setup, yeah? But there was less room to move into, yeah? Aussie dollar Swiss franc, we had a bit of room, a bit of space to move into. But pound Swiss franc, it was immediately at resistance here, okay? So this is why we didn't take this one. And then the uh, the other one that I liked, yeah, like I say, more Swiss franc weakness was New Zealand dollar Swiss franc, guys. Again, if we look at the day chart quickly, yeah, it was all, you know, it was a case of breaking this level and therefore the start of an uptrend. Higher lows, higher highs, okay? Um, and this one did almost come up and hit our higher time frame target. Okay, if we drop down to the H1 now, yeah, uh, you know, we got this candle. We got this nice bullish candle. But again, I preferred the candle on the Aussie dollar Swiss franc, which is why I took it. Um, but yeah, you know, we got this candle and you and there was a bit of room to move into, you know, take some profit back up here, enter here, put your stop here. You would have got a nice risk to reward. Yeah. And maybe you, you know, you're still in this trade for 20%. But this has come hurtling back down. Um, so yeah, that was the Swiss franc pairs as a whole, guys. Yeah, I traded Aussie dollar Swiss franc because it gave me the best setup, and I put that trade in my VIP Discord. All right, but I also liked New Zealand Swiss franc setup, all right. But pound Swiss franc, Canadian dollar Swiss franc, they were less attractive as trades. So when you have you know lots of correlated pairs, trade the one that gives you the best setup. 
Um, and the last trade idea from for Friday was this, was euro against the Aussie dollar. Okay, and this is basically like trading Aussie dollar Swiss franc. They are highly inversely correlated. Okay, and why were we looking to short this? Well, we were in an uptrend. And then price has just found this range or this box of indecision. Yeah, and then we got a break. We got this nice big bearish candle that broke these lows. And the idea was just to follow that downward momentum back down to this level, you know, even down to this gray zone. All right. But this this is now in a downtrend. Yeah, because we're seeing lower highs and now lower lows. Okay. And this also gave us a good entry. But as I explained, I was in Aussie dollar Swiss franc. And it's basically the same trade, but reverse. So, yeah, on the H1, price had come back up into our gray zone. Yeah. And then we got this nice bearish reaction with this candle here. Yeah, you know, sell here, stop up here, take price back down to here, take some profit, yeah, and then let the rest of the 20% or 30% run. And then just trail your stop. This will be the last swing high here. All right, guys. And if we look at this on the H4, yeah, it also made a lot of sense. Yeah, we've got this nice reaction, reaction here. Okay. So, guys, yeah, those were the trades from Friday. Let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, if you enjoy my analysis every day, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel right now. Smash that notification button so you receive an alarm every time we post a vid. And if I could ask everyone to please smash the like button right now, guys. It really helps support the vid. Mercy, gracias, danke schön. Um, right, trades for Monday the 4th of September, guys. Before I do show you the trades, let me just mention a few things that we do. So first of all, guys, we've got the free Discord channel. It is free, so come join it, yeah? We've got traders in there sharing knowledge, ideas. We've got indicators, psychology, money management, loads of cool things, guys, all right? So um, the link is in the video description. Secondly, guys, we've also got the VIP Discord channel. Okay, you do have to pay for this, but you get access to me throughout the trading day, as in you can ask me questions if you're stuck or need help. Um, I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen. We have two other expert traders sharing their ideas. We give you exclusive content every week, and you get access to a performance coach should you need it, all right? So loads of value, guys. Um, the link is in the video description. Next, guys, if you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email and we'll send you the details of the mentorship program. Again, the email is in the video description. Um, next, guys, we also have, if you you know watch the analysis vids every day, um, join us for the live streams, then you can show your appreciation by supporting the channel. Um, you can do so from as little as under $2 a month, and you get some really cool perks for doing so, all right? So come be, become a YouTube member. Um, and finally, guys, don't forget the live stream today, 8 a.m. New York EST time. Get your questions ready. I'm ready for them. Right. Trades for Monday, the 4th of September. OK, so a couple of them are da a, a bit deja vu. So the first one is Aussie dollar against the Swiss franc. So, yeah, you don't need to explain it again, but I will. Yeah. So we were in a downtrend. OK, and then as soon as we break these highs, which we did with this candle here, we were then in an uptrend because we're getting higher highs, higher lows. OK, and we pushed above the moving average 20 and we had this bullish candle and even Friday's candle, guys, it is a little bit negative, but I like the fact that we've got this wick here. So, you know, there's really good value because we could be at the start of this trend, all right? And the idea is to take it back up to here. If not, you know, let the trend run a little. So, yeah, we're looking for buys Aussie dollar Swiss franc. If we drop down to the H4 chart now, because you can clearly see this area. So this is those last daily highs we were speaking about, but it's just historically reacted at this zone, even on Friday. Okay, 
Uh, and we're just going to look for the same again, guys. We want to see price react in here somewhere. We want to see a bullish reaction and it could be a h1 bullish candle and or a h4 bullish candle and if we get that guys we can start buying this pair again i would take some profit here and then let some profit run okay so aussie dollar swiss franc we're looking to buy this pair i all at this point let me just show you the, the the other swiss franc pair that i liked was this was canadian dollar swiss franc you know because we still yeah, we still broke structure here, and we had a wick on this candle. Um, but we had a wick on that candle, guys. All right, but this this candle here is a bit more bearish than the Aussie dollar Swiss franc candle. So that's why I preferred Aussie dollar Swiss franc, guys. All right, but this I still think would be a potentially good buying opportunity. Um, the next trade was is this euro against the aussie dollar guys okay so why are we looking to sell this let me explain so um we have had a break in structure so price was in an uptrend it came back down we were thinking at this level will it carry on if it broke this i think it would have done but instead we got this candle which broke the lows therefore we have lower lows and lower highs all right, so we are in a downward trend. Um, if we, um, yeah, and also on Friday, guys, we had this candle here as well. Yeah, so this is just a continue continuation of this bearish momentum. And the idea is just to come back down to potentially this 6600 level. Okay, um, let's drop down to the H4 because again, it's a bit of a H4 play. So, a couple of things here, guys. We've got this grey zone here. If price retraces into this grey zone, great. We're getting lovely value here. We want to see a bearish reaction. And then once we get that, we can start selling, you know, potentially back down to these lows, take some profit. If not, leave it to run. So that's the first idea, guys. If I drop down to the H1, you know, you can see there's quite a bit of selling momentum here on the H1. So what might happen is this, guys. We just get a break of these lows here. Let me just drag that out a little bit. We get a break of this, this low. Then we get a retest, you know, and then we could potentially enter like this as well. All right, but Euro, Aussie, Dollar, we're looking to sell this pair. Next trade is uh, gold. You are gold. We haven't had a trade on gold for a while. This makes me happy um this is a weekly it's really nice setup on the weekly guys first of all because we are in a downtrend on the weekly chart we are in a downtrend yeah these are the last highs but we're getting lower lows all right and if we really zoom in guys you can see as this moving average 20 is coming round price has literally just pinged off that it's a reasonably bullish candle, but I like this wick. This wick has pinged off of that moving average 20. All right. And, you know, there's such good value here for shorts. All right. So that's the weekly chart. And if we drop down to the daily chart, yeah, you can also see we are still in a downtrend. Yeah. Because if we think this was the last high here, and then we just, we've done this. So really, this level here is the last high. Okay, and it's that weekly moving average 20. And we've got this nice bearish reaction because on the whole, from Friday's NFP data and unemployment data, there was US dollar strength off the back of that. And we can see that in this candle here. So the idea is just to come potentially down to this level, if not lower. All right, if we drop down to the H4 now. So... Well, let's drop down to the H1. Okay, so we've got a couple of ways we can trade this, guys. So on the H1, it, it is holding on to these lows. Yeah, you can see this big wick that's held on to these lows. So what we want to see is a break of this these lows, yeah, a retest, okay, and then we want a, a bearish reaction, and then we can start taking price lower, if not further. 
Okay, so that's the first trade idea. We get a break of this level and therefore a break in H1 structure. Or if we want to be a bit more aggressive, price could come back up to these last highs here. Yeah, or even here. All right, and again, we get a bearish reaction. We can then start selling gold. I would take some profit here and then let some profit run. All right, so gold, we're also looking to short this. Um, we've got more trade ideas today, guys. I've got another trade idea, but before I show you the last trade idea, if I could ask everyone, please, right now to smash the like button if you're enjoying the analysis and the trade ideas. Also, if you're new to the channel, why not come join us? I give you my trade ideas every day, so subscribe to the channel right now. Also, guys, don't forget we've got free Discord, VIP Discord, mentorship program, and YouTube membership. So check all that out. It's in the video description. The last trade, the black gold. We've looked at gold. We're now going to look at the black gold. And hold on to your hats, guys, because this resistance, yeah, this resistance here, that if I drag it across so you can see it without my big head in the way, that lasted, you know, it's been going since November 22, yeah, up until August 23. And only then have we had a break of this level. This was the most resistant level in the history of commodities. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know. But... You know, it was a very important resist, and now we have broken it. Okay, so potentially, guys, I've got a, you know quite a conservative target there. We could potentially come back up to here, all right, as well, because that'll be the next. This here will be the next area of logical resistance on the weekly chart. So we've had a break, guys, on the weekly, yeah, and on the daily. Obviously, we've had a break too. So we need a retrace guys yeah because this is just shot off and maybe it just keeps shooting off and we miss it so be it i don't mind what i do need for me to start buying this is a retrace potentially down to here or even back into this gray zone so let's take a look on the h4 so obviously guys we want to buy it but we're not going to buy it here yeah there's no value where are you going to put your stop here yeah do you know what i mean there's no value here guys so we need a retrace. So price could potentially retrace to this last daily high here. Yeah. Or it comes back into this level, which we know was very good resistance and could now become very good support. All right. And anywhere in this gray zone, guys. All right. Um, and then we're just looking for a bullish reaction, either here or here. And then we can start buying this pair, this commodity, guys. All right. So oil, looking for buys. And those, guys, are all of my trade ideas for today. Um, let's take a look at the news now. So, guys, news for Monday, the 4th of September. As you can see, Canada and America are on holiday. Lucky you. It is Labor Day. Enjoy it's that good a holiday. Canada has mentioned it four times. Um, but there is still some important news here, guys, uh, on Monday. So at 8 o'clock, London GMT um, of the Swiss franc. And remember, we're, in, we're interested in Swiss franc pairs. We've got the GDP coming out. So we've got quarter on quarter, year on year. So this could really move the Swiss franc, guys. Um, but that's the only piece of news on Monday that we're interested in. All right. So, guys, yeah, I hope you have a great trading day. If you've enjoyed the vid, please subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to join me for the live stream at 8 a.m. New York EST. I'll see you later.